Hey everybody, Elisa Stillwell Rogers here, back again with Simply Southern Recipes by Rocket City Girls. Today we are doing something entirely different. I'm taking some leftover New Year's Day food, black eyed peas, sweet potatoes, ham, and uh, turnip greens, and doing a Southern Fusion with them. I'm making southern egg rolls. So to get started, I drink now you can do your own black eyed peas, whatever you want to do. Open a can if you want to. I just simply dice this little uh, bit of a sweet potato, boiled it for a few seconds just to make it pliable. The end of what leftover spiral ham that we had, cut it up, diced it, and turnip greens. I just squeezed all the juice out, but I kept my juice because the pot liquor, as we call it, is going to turn into a nice dipping sauce for our egg rolls. I'm gonna add a little onion, give it a little cha-cha-cha. And so, let's go ahead and get this onion chopped up. I'm gonna leave it big uh, slices because you know it's going to cook when we fry those egg rolls but we want it to have a little bit of a bite still not to get overly cooked there we go so we got that done now here is our turnip greens so basically just take your turnip green once you squeeze all the juice out I also have a, a segment where I do collard greens, a video, and I will link it to this so that you can get the recipe. These are right out of my garden. Most everything I do, even down to this egg, is off of our farm. So I'm just going to see how I'm cutting those turnip greens up like that make it a lot easier to work with going into an egg roll. So let me get this done and then I'll show you how to put them together. All right, everybody. So the way I'm gonna do this, there is an egg roll wrap. I'm going to put some turnip greens and just kind of eye it out like that. Then, some black eyed peas. Now, make sure that you get all the excess liquid out. You don't need mushy uh, egg rolls. There is some sweet potato. And then last but not least, well, I wouldn't say this is last. This is next to last. Then oniony goodness. So I would and I might have to play with this a couple of times. It's been a while since I've rolled any egg rolls. So but normally I fold my end up. Like this, Oop. and then I fold my sides over like that, push everything down in there as far as you can get it. Now, once I get to this point right here, I'm going to bust this egg. Now, I'm also going to add a drizzle of water. Got that going. Now, 
I just simply do that, continue rolling, and place it on a plate. Now, I've got a little tear right there. That's perfectly okay. They're not supposed to be perfect, but it'll get better with each roll, I'm sure. Like I said, it's been a while. So, I'm gonna continue rolling these up, and then we'll fry them up, and then make the sauce, the dipping sauce. All right, everybody, I just turned my fan on, because this is really hot, but this grease is ready. And I just simply do just like that. They get golden brown, I start rolling them around, take them up before they get too brown. So, we've got our egg rolls done. This is such a wonderful, wonderful uh, food to serve like at parties and stuff. But this is our pot liquor. Like I said, I'm gonna attach the link, so. But I've got it coming to a boil. Got me some good, nice, hot sriracha. You can use mild if you want to. I like hot. So, I am. Add in, and you put just as much as you want to in your pot liquor. And it's going to cook down. But it is a wonderful dipping sauce for these egg rolls. And I guarantee nobody at your party's ever had these before. And they'll leave talking about them because they're that wonderful. Especially if you got somebody, you know, really doesn't care for Asian food. They're super ultra picky, but boy, they'll eat some southern food in a second. Here you go. So what I do, once I get that sriracha in there, I keep this on a boil and I keep stirring it until it starts to thicken up. And then once it's the thickness that I desire, I pull it and serve it with my egg rolls. We're back and look at this. Absolute perfection. I mean, you just can't get any better than that. That bite has everything that you could want or need in it. Make this good pot liquor sriracha dipping sauce. Let me tell you, I can set this out, grab some of my uh, Asian pickled quail eggs that I do, some little wonton wraps that I do, and, I mean, have a feast for, uh, you know, guests that come to a party or something. Just a little something different to give people something to talk about. But there's just another little something-something I wanted to share with you. And I hope that y'all share us with your friends and family. And please subscribe and like us. And um, we hope to see you back again real soon. See ya!